These solid state power banks are way safer than lithium ion. Let's check them out. Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about power banks. I have reviewed lots and lots of power banks, and they're all pretty much lithium ion. Now, lithium ion sounds like a really great tech, and it's in all our phones, it's in a lot of devices, but it's not the most stable and safe system. So, the problem is, is that there's a flammable liquid that's inside lithium batteries. What happens? Well, your phone catches on fire. And so your charging bank or your power bank can catch on fire. And here's just an example of some news stories that I found with like a 60 second search that were people's devices catching on fire. This is pretty alarming. So I'm not gonna say that happens a lot because by percentage, it's a tiny percentage, but do you wanna run that risk? If you have an extra battery charger with you, do you wanna be able to you know, have it where you don't have to stress about it potentially having any issues? Of course you do. That's what these are. These are the BMX, let me show you both of them, the BMX Solid Safe 5000 milliamp hour power banks. And I have to say right up front, these are early production prototypes. So the final unit will not look exactly like this, but this gives you a sense of what this company is building and it's pretty sweet. BMX stands for Better Mobile Experience. I guess they couldn't afford the vowel. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. So what they have in here are solid state cells. It's a different kind of battery technology with a lot of advantages. Weight wise, it's pretty much the same as you would get from lithium ion, but you can do things like bend them or drill a hole in them and you're not going to have any issues with flammability. In fact, here's a quick video they sent me that shows them being drilled and bent and still working. One of the other advantages is that it has double the battery lifespan. So a typical lithium ion has maybe four or 500 charges and then it's really not doing very well. These can do over a thousand without any degradation or anything. So that's really nice. They also hold their charge longer. It's just, like I said, it's a different battery technology. And I think it's one that's gonna take over the industry actually. But these in particular are really cool. So it's 5,000 milliamp hours. And just to give you a sense, that's about 1.5 times probably the battery in your smartphone. And on the front, there's a display. This current display is minimalist. It will have this look. So this particular mock-up here is from their 10K power bank, which has two USB-C ports, but the 5,000 milliamp hour unit that I have has one USB-C port on the bottom and it has wireless charging on the back, but this is worth noting too, this is G2. So this is a more powerful wireless charging system and it has a magnet. So we're gonna start seeing Android phones using something that's essentially MagSafe, what Apple already has. But of course they can't call it MagSafe, they're gonna call it Qi 2 with magnets. So theoretically the Google Pixel 10 will have this, for example. Um, I have a Pixel 9, it definitely doesn't have the magnet, but it does do wireless charging. So it's actually super functional. And this is a 15 watt wireless charger. And then the USB-C can push out 20 watts when you're charging with that. And one of the things I like is they have this little lanyard, but this lanyard has a secret identity because you can open it up 
and get a 60 watt charging and data USB-C to USB-C cable. There's not a cable built into this that you can pop off, but you have this and it's always ready to go and I'll just leave it like that so you can see what it is and really, really handy. So this, let's see, they have this, this is their 5,000 milliamp hour. They have another one coming out that's gonna be 10,000 milliamp hours. So obviously be a little chunkier, but then what's really cool is they're gonna have a 10,000 milliamp hour and micro SD card reader built into it. So you'll be able to plug it into your device and while you're charging your device, you can plug in a micro SD card and access photos, movies, files, whatever it is you might wanna put on there. So really pretty slick. Now, again, these are prototypes, but I have run some tests. So you've already seen their little video of how you can mess with this thing and it's not gonna catch on fire or cause any problems, which is great. Um, I will tell you that I used my iPhone 15 Pro and I used the Qi wireless charging, so MagSafe Qi wireless charging, you can see here, it just fits on and that magnet keeps it in the right place and on the front, it is doing just what you want. Let me do that again, make sure you can see what happens. So it actually obviously is very happily charging. So what I found was that it gave my phone a 33% charge in 30 minutes. That's really fast. That's probably at 2X the speed of a normal MagSafe charger. So this Qi 2 is gonna be a great boon for iPhone owners. So it's not just for the Android community. So that's a 66% charge in an hour using it wirelessly. So this whole thing with the USB-C dongle, whatever, cables are so like 2024. <laughs> and then I took a Samsung Galaxy A15 and I used that with a wired charge. And let's get that plugged in. And it actually will tell you if I actually, <laughs> let's try this again. Let's try plugging in the other end too. There we go. So it will actually do a fast charge. So this one gave me 26% in 30 minutes, which gives you 52% charge in an hour, which is pretty darn good. And worth mentioning is that the charging units themselves, I started both of them at 100%, and the unit that I used for a plugged in charge went down to 59% after using it with the Galaxy for half an hour. And then this unit actually was at 62% when I was done getting that 33% charge also in half an hour. So 5,000 milliamps hours is a pretty small power bank, but it's enough for one full charge and then maybe a little bit extra juice at the end of the day. And honestly, that's probably what you want. And I should point out that on the bottom of the unit, there's a display screen, and I've already shown you the mock-up, but on this one, it still will show you the percentage of charge that's left. So this one's at 88%. And so I also wanted to analyze how long does it take for this to charge? So I plugged one of these power banks in to a 100 watt charger, and it automatically can just figure out whether it needs to give or receive power, which is kind of slick actually. And it got a whopping 48% charge in an hour. So a lot of times with these um, power banks, it can take a really long time to charge them back up because they move slowly. But this solid state technology, pretty sweet. So it picked that charge up pretty fast. So you could plug it in and then plug your phone in, for example, or you, I guess you would plug it in to a power source and then use wireless charging on your device. And over a course of a typical lunch, you could have the power bank back up to 100% and your phone another 50% or more charge. So it's really, really efficient. It's super light. I really like the form factor and I think they're onto something here. I think that having it be solid state instead of lithium ion is gonna be a big win. This is so much safer. Now, the challenge is they probably need to say somewhere on it that it's solid state, not lithium ion, so that when you're at TSA and they're saying, yeah, sorry, buddy, you can't take that on the plane, and you're saying, no, 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 this is a different battery technology, there's no risk here, 
maybe a little help would be something that would make sure that this doesn't end up in the TSA claimed property bin. <laughs> but honestly, it's not much of a problem. This is just a really nice, elegant design. I love their pre-release uh, packaging, very fun. And do need to talk price. So I'll tell you, these are coming to Kickstarter. And Kickstarter, if you are willing to take a chance, is always a great place to pick up products early. So these, let me just sort of show you both of them here. It's in gold and black. These are going to come on and they're gonna ultimately have a suggested retail price of $79. But the early bird on Kickstarter is a remarkable $39. So honestly, jump onto Kickstarter. There's a link in my description and grab yourself one of these because next time you need a power bank, you don't wanna be stressing about whether you're gonna be that unlucky 0.01% that has your lithium ion battery catch on fire or start distorting or swelling or otherwise fail. So instead of that old school technology, and it literally hasn't been around that long, now you have solid state cells, really cool. It's everything I got. I do need to charge my phone all the way up. So, I will hope to catch you in my next video.